Hey guys, so I have this wig here and it was made by me of course and I have this closure but I don't so much love it for the hair that is on it because as you can see the hair for the closure looks quite trashy and the hair on the wig the bundles look very soft I'm gonna say this this hair is by she care back in the days and I wish Shelly would start doing hair again because I would definitely promote that hair promote the hell out of those hair because this hair has been through so much and if you guys see and feel feel this hair you wouldn't know that this was over six years old here like bleach multiple times colored throw down put on yeah the nip stay bad right now but brush this through right now it look like brand new like this hair is so good but anyways back to this well, the closure here on this is not so good i'm gonna revive it it's not from she care it was from a i don't remember where that's from actually um but it's a very good closure but the hair got fried i don't know what happened um but it got fried so i'm gonna remove it and put it with some bundles that i have here and i'm gonna try and do a black bust down middle part with this let's see what we can achieve so yeah that's the aim of this video today So what you see me doing here is removing the lace from the old wig and I'm taking my time not to really cut the wig because I'm gonna put a closure back on this wig when I purchase one. I want to find the perfect HD body wave to revamp this wig and make it come back to life because i love this hair like when i say i love this hair this is one of my favorite hair that i have in my stash apart it and my wiggins hair which is um the one that i wore for my birthday if you watch my vlog that and this hair best quality in the pack right now shelly and fraser price if you ever see this video please give somebody your vendor for them sell back here if you don't want to get back into that business because those quality ear that you had back in the days 2010 whenever that was it was some few years ago please get them back please start doing business ma'am okay so now the closure is off the cap of that old wig i'm gonna put that aside and now what i'm doing is marking my well showing you guys how i mark my perimeters my forehead my nape on the dome cap um so that i can make sure my cap will fit my head to the t when i'm laying my closure i make sure i overlap it about a, a half inch or an inch depending on how i want to do it and i love doing this with closures because it makes sure you get a little extension so that when you're gluing down you're putting on your, your, your wigs it looks perfect and now i'm so i pinned it to the cap and now i'm sewing it down when i'm when i sew 
and I suggest this for everyone. This is a tip if you want to make sure your bust down middle parts are centered and you do have lopsided bundles. Make sure you start in the middle. Start start sewing at the back in the middle so you can make sure that it's positioned properly. You can stretch the sides to make sure they are positioned properly and will fit your cap perfectly. So I'm doing what would be called, I think it's called a blanket stitch. Um, I believe um, it kind of loops itself to make sure that the, the closure is anchored and the bundles as well are anchored to the wig cap and I'm just gonna go right around it and sew and tack this down. I don't know about anybody but I, I, I find makeup and hair very therapeutic. I just like sitting there being lost with no thoughts whatsoever because I'm a very much an overthinker and just get lost in the motions of doing this repetitive task and just mindlessly doing it. Um, however, let's continue into this tutorial. I'm starting at the nape and I'm starting at the on the band and this is something I didn't do back in the day but I'm doing this because I now have the proper wig size for my head so I can do this back in the days I had just the, the old mannequin head the one that you will see I post the, the, the wigs on back in the days with the face um, not a blockhead um, and that wasn't fitted to my head it was the 22 circumference that my head is so if you don't have your proper wig size i recommend getting it so that you can do this because if you're sewing on that band and the wig is the the, the the mannequin head or whatever you're using to sew on is small you're gonna have problems with your wig fitting properly let me say that again make sure your block head your mannequin head is the size or circumference of your head that is why we measure first to make sure your cap will fit properly or snug and perfect when you finish making your wig 
anyways um i'm doing my blanket stitch as i said i'm not going through the webs this helped to eliminate shedding and i don't have a sewing machine yet so i'm not doing the sewing machine method so yes i'm still doing it old school by doing it by hand however as you can see i take my time and sew my wigs i literally have wigs that have lost me years only part of I probably might have to fix up is the edges or the wig um, the closure or something that probably gets a lot of tugging but apart from that I don't have tracks falling out on me on the road so big up that take your time and sew your webs so we're gonna speed through this I'm keeping the nape uh, measurements for the back because I want all the length to be down there so I'm kind of keeping that for, for the longer length and then I'm gonna start and do the U around the cap of the wig as you can see here and carrying it around the ear showing you the stitching love it take my time and do my thing so yeah wig was looking full already i know some people wig look like that and it's the full wig look how thick that bundle is so this is the lighter color color here that i'm putting on my head these are some mitch mitch mismatch bundles that i had laying around from wigs that i had dismantled some time ago or whatever the case may be just put down i literally have them put down for probably over two three years um so i was needing to make a wig because i didn't have a closure wig for a good while that i could just throw on and go i, I only had my curly hair or some sort of frontal that or yeah that was it so i needed this bust down so i'm continuing with the sewing process and i'm just taking my time as i say i'm i'm back on the band in this section when after i pass my nape i don't really like sewing on the band in that section because i like having the extra stretch um because you know you have to have the stretch to grip it here and i have a lot of here and there are times when i really don't want to braid down the flat braid down and i want the hair can the, the, the cap can stretch over all of that here because you guys know when a ball under a wig will take care of ear under the wig so so yeah i'm gonna continue sewing and when we reach the top we'll talk more All right, so here I brought the camera a bit closer so you guys can see how I end the end of a track at, um, or when I, I'm gonna flip over because I do do the flip over method because I will sometimes want to dismantle and create a different wig. I love doing that. If it is that I'm gonna create a shape, 
a specific shape with like a blunt cut or something you don't have to do this it's not necessary but if you're gonna if you know you're gonna cut the hair um you can just um what do you call it cut and go um you saw there what i do is loop the needle under the weft bring it out and do about three swirls around with the thread around the needle and then pull it through what that does is create a knot at the end so that when i flip it over it's really really tacked down and it's not gonna be moving and i also do that again you'll see me do it again here um hopefully um to tack down the fold that i'm creating and this helps so that with all the manipulation all the pulling and tugging it wasn't it won't come loose I definitely am a push pin girl. I use those push pin to assist me with holding up the weft with the closures, all of that. I love using those. The T pins kind of take too long to come out for me. They, especially when I have nails, but the push pins are just perfect for me. Um, so I love using push pins to hold up the weft that I'm sewing and all that jazz. So. I'm gonna continue sewing, doing the loops as you can see here, going through the th under the weft through the wig and then up up and looping it and creating that knot to make sure it is anchored down and won't be moving, it won't be bulky, you won't be seeing that and at the end you'll see how nice and seamless it is. With this section, I definitely end the wig by sewing the last track on that closure to make sure everything is seamless, extra hold on the closure and all of that. So you can see here, I'm sewing through the weft, through the closure, through the wig. Everything is connected. The wig, the wig and the, heat, the, the closure and the, the, what the bundles are seamlessly meshing together that you don't have that space at the top where you can see the difference and all of that. okay so we're finished with the sewing section and i'm pulling down the i guess it was an elastic that's holding the the hair of the closure up out of the way and on the can see the colors are all mismatched so we're gonna move into getting that together but not until we show that lace we're gonna cut and we're not cutting too close to the stitches of the closure we're just giving it a little bit of allowance 
um, but we're cutting out that that space so that the lace can be shown and we can have that area so you know you can show the lace that's the whole point of it being there and all that all that jazz And there it is um, ready so what we have here is our hot water and we're ready to get the hair all in one color I'm using jet black I don't know why I have the mahogany um, but uh, the main color is the jet black to get that jet black middle part bust down surprisingly I only have natural color hairs or colored hairs I don't have any jet black fully black hair um, I don't know why and I actually lo love black hair I don't really love brown like the very very, very light brown for for number four color you know that number four color there I hate seeing that color on my skin um, but I don't have any anywho um, so We'll put the black jet black um, a little bit of it we don't need a lot of that in the piping hot water I put a little blue because I wanted a blue hue that didn't really work out you can see it in the undertone but not really see it, see it but yeah we we'll put a little tip of that blue in there and we're gonna stir that around and dip or wig in and excuse the utensils I couldn't find anything to stir so I just used my razor comb I took out the razors and I just stirred and now I'm just dipping it in being careful I didn't show this part but I definitely sprayed the lace of the wig to, that's what I'm doing showing you now I sprayed the lace to make sure that the tint does not get on the lace and make it black I'm dipping very very carefully still to ensure that we have no mess up because I didn't I don't didn't feel like bleaching the lace so taking our time and dipping all the top hairs because remember the, the bottom is mostly black already but we really need to get that top closure section and yes i have the band on it i think this yeah this was already on the closure so i just sew, sew it on like that and it's perfect for my hair like so perfect i love this wig spoiler alert i love this wig love 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 this wig now the closure and everything is acting right because after this i also um use some silicone mix to get back that closure to some more life and softness does did wonders to it so we're just dipping taking my time dipping dipping to get all the pigment that i can get into this wig now i'm showing you guys me styling the hair final step to see the whole oh, shebang oh my god and, and i'm using my crimper from amazon i will try and link it down below i love this thing it's a five piece interchangeable hot tool it has wands and this crimper so different size wands and then the crimper I'm showing you this I do the section each second and I spray them to make sure everything stays in place the extra oil um, by suave and here is the completed look at that beautiful my bust down looking good so this is the final look on this wig
Okay guys, so I just finished the wig and I just wanted to show you guys the finished look. I decided to do a cream as you guys just saw and I am loving it. I love the middle part bust down. I love recreating a wig to make it something new because I wasn't wearing it the way it was and now I have a wig that I can throw on every day like literally every day because it's a closure wig and it doesn't take much to do anything with it if it's straight if it's this way if, it, if i want to curl it quick and easy um so yeah that is that what you guys think is this a service that you require if you do you can in um send me a direct message on instagram on tiktok anywhere you can find me and I will tell you, let you know the prices on doing this. But I definitely recommend for girlies that have those old bundles put down that you usually sew it if you're not sewing them in now. This is a great thing to do, like take them off and make them in a week so that you can throw them on on those days when you don't want to braid it here or if you don't want to go and get a whole install. Yeah. And you can do this with your frontals as well recreate them dip this manka them and put them back together and create a new look it's called revamping it yeah revamp the, the old things that man make them new you know for buy a new wig all the time um you know time hard and the prices of here and bundles are going up so you can refurbish revamp your old wigs your old closures your old bundles and let them get a new look because look at this this is like a whole brand new wig and you also i took the closure off another wig i got the old hair that i had thrown down all along for years now yeah dye it crimp it yeah put it together a whole new look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Moya Lovely and I'm signing out. And remember to wear the best you for the world to see. And I'm signing out. And P.S. If you want to see this look, it's already up on TikTok. I did a little Valentine's Day look. The TikTok handle is Moya Lovely. I'm Moya Lovely everywhere. So just hit me up and follow. I hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> yeah <laughs> bye dolls